Welcome. What you see in this tutorial is essentially this. I um, have created a honey-like material last um, night and I'm currently only rendering on the GPU so that my recording can work better on the CPU. And yeah, the entire material that you can see here in Houdini um, is quite complex. So what we have here is a refraction, reflection. We have some manifold walk. We have some absorption uh, um, or extinction in, in that case, multi-scattering in the material. Um, we have subsurface scattering, non-exponential path tracing, um, a very high uh, reflective index because honey has up to 1.7 or the refraction index is um, up to 1.7 and yeah the, the material itself is rendering really really fast in XPU as you can see and what I show you now in this tutorials how you can translate this material to blender and back vice versa so I will stop this um, here and I will um, show you how you create a library. This works on both ends. So you can translate a material or a light from Houdini to Blender, can edit it and can send it back. So I will do this now. So for that, we uh, need to drag and drop the preset browser right in here. Um, this is my own library. So I create a new one and I will go to my default, um, yeah, to this one here and I create a new one. My tutorial library, let us say this. I will jump into this and hit choose. So this is tutorial library, um, Alex and uh, this one, doesn't matter, create. So, now we have a new library and when we look at our materials where is it textures so when we look here we have it so this is our new library and it's currently empty only the, the uh, description is here and what we do now is we go back to our material and we drag and drop the honey material from our stage or this also works in the obj space and drag and drop it right here so it's honey material it's not hair uh, no mm, i made a mistake not light rigs we need to move to the material tab so again drag and drop it's a material category and save render man will now um, render the preview image this little ball essentially And when this is finished, we will do it with the background too. So drag and drop, materials, save. So it's done. So now we have two entries under materials, material. Of course, we can create a subfolder like a liquids, for example. Liquids and, oh, liquids. So, and we drag and drop it right here. And it should update also here when we reload the library. Okay, this will take a while. So here we have it. So now we have a subfolder called liquids and in the subfolder, we have both materials. So I will save this and I will now open Blender and we go to Blender and I will open this material in this entire scene. So I start from scratch. I will delete the cube and the light and I will import um, the objects that I already have exported. So it's the fluid right here 
and also the scene itself so that's the scene and I will um, activate this highly important activate render man so we will turn to XPU and I will go to um, I will go to the add-on section and will deactivate the CPU rendering when I turn on XPU so so we only have the GPU rendering okay we have no light yet that's totally fine so I will create light for render man uh, dome light and in here we will pick the same texture which is bathroom and I will try again so here we have our bathroom I will add a light that I also have in in Houdini and I will crank it up to 100 maybe yeah 100 is okay so looks nice I will stop the IPR yeah so I will do a right click in the screen and I will go to preset preset browser and I will add a new library and I will move down to uh, the the path where I have made this where is my that's the wrong one so go go up so um, my tutorial library so we dive down we dive down into random and asset library and here we see the library JSON and I will hit install so now we have it the, those are our entries I will hit OK and I will select the fluid and hit right click again and I will select honey so the honey material will be applied to the fluid I will also do this for the background objects with the background material and I will hit render again so as you can see we have translated the uh, material from Houdini to um, Blender so I will stop this again I will save this file I already did that for testing so and now the nice thing is this is not just the container we can edit the material in entirety so I will go here and I will change uh, the fluid material again so uh, I will yeah maybe I should rename the material to something like green or we call it slime maybe green slime green slime whatever and I will choose some bunch of yeah maybe we should activate this to see it much better so I will move to class and I will change refraction color and maybe some subsurface scattering yes so so now we have our green material I will stop the IPR and I will do a right click again so we have renamed the material to click green slime I click right into the or with a right click into the viewport again and hit save material and now a window appears okay it's mine I hit okay and now Renderman is creating the new preview in Blender this time and it's done so I can save and close Blender and reopen Houdini so in Houdini we load our file and we move to the to the material tab and in the material section we of course use the preset browser again we move it here and here you see our green slime 
we import our green slime, we have it here, and copy, paste, we go to stage, we go to our honey material, and we paste it right in here, and then we assign the material. So the material is assigned, and I hit GPU rendering again, and as you can see, our green material is here in Houdini, but yeah, as you can see, you can exchange materials from one app to another. And this is really, really, really nice. So what we can also do is we can exchange lights. This is not working in the stage context. This is only working in the OBJ context, but the process is exactly the same. So what you can do, you, you have to create a pixel light. This only works with pixel light, so we create a rectangle light. We let it here in the middle so you can see it's, yeah, it's cutting through um, the entire um, thing. And maybe, maybe we can change the exposure or the intensity to, let us say, 11. And yeah, so we open our preset browser again. Uh, random in preset browser and here we have a light rig tab so I move it right here it's it's better to click and then we drag and drop the light to this um, light rig um, folder and hit save so we have the light here and here we have it and yeah we only need to save the file, we stop Houdini, we open Blender again, and we open our file, and yeah, all what we have to do is we right click, go to our preset, uh, select the category to Light Rigs, right click again, and ch choose the Pixel Rect Light 1, and here we have it. And also, as you can see, the light intensity was translated from Houdini. So maybe I can try to render this. It maybe looks wrong, but yeah, maybe 11 was too, too less. But here you can see it works. So, and of course, I can select the light and as usual I can move the light of course so this is not a container that you cannot um, edit so this works as expected and yeah saves you a lot of time when um, switching from one DCC to another and I really like that. I, I also like how fast the random man build is working with XPU. So this is an entire screen close to 2K in square. Uh, and yeah, it's really fast. So this is everything that I wanted to show you. So you can exchange materials in random man 24, um, also in previous versions, but in 24, it's working very nicely also with um, XPU. So yeah, I wish every one of you a nice weekend.